Shalom. Uh, welcome to Divine Marriage Program Online. Uh, my name is Apostle Domizia Mwenda, and we are together with my wife, Pastor Florida Mwenda. Welcome all of us, and God bless you, uh, wherever you are tuned in. We are sorry tonight, we have started a bit late, we aren't taking a years, but uh, God has helped us to overcome, and now we are uh, on air. So let us hear from you, if you are getting us loud and clear from wherever you may be uh, tuned in. Uh, we pray that the Lord will help you to get to us, and you are going to be blessed Communicate to us. Tell us if you are uh, receiving our signal and you're getting it as loud and clear. God bless you and God do you good things. My name is Apostle Domizian Mwenda again. Uh, we are with my wife, Pastor Florida Mwenda, and this is Divine Marriage uh, Program uh, online. This program comes to you every uh, week, Monday to Friday. Uh, welcome and God bless you. We are here to raise and equip godly families, giving you the information you need that you can be established in your marriage. A marriage is ordained of God for us to rejoice, for us to be happy. And I believe you're going to uh, be happy when uh, you, you understand the right way of doing things in marriage. God, welcome, God bless you and do you good things. We have discussed about boundaries uh, since last week, and we have learned a lot of things. And uh, I believe uh, you understand now why you need to establish a boundary in your marriage. Why do you have to have a, a constitution in that marriage, rules that are governing you, and also following the rules that are set by God, I believe. Uh, you are getting to understand all this and it's going to help you. Tonight, we shift and we want to speak something new. And our topic tonight is stages of uh, marriage. And we want to uh, believe God that uh, we are going to learn. Those who are in marriage and those who are uh, yet to enter into marriage, uh, this is very important for you. Uh, you need to understand marriage also has stages and you need to learn at each stage what is expected of you. Welcome and God bless you and God do you good from wherever you are tuned in. I want you to begin now to invite your friends and share the link with them wherever they may be and invite them now, tell them divine marriage our program has started. You can now begin to host watch parties with them and share the information uh, with your friends uh, who are connected to you in any group and uh, you are going to be blessed and God is going to do us good in Jesus' name. Uh, yesterday we talked a lot of things and I believe if you are listening to us uh, you got some information that is able to build you up. I hope you uh, to, to, to keep yourself safe. Uh, you, you are not going to have stressful relationship in marriage because of external pressure and other things that are coming to affect you because you failed to put the right uh, boundaries. Welcome and God bless you. Uh, I pray that your marriage will begin to shine and uh, to flourish. Our prayer every day is that God will give you the then grace that will build you up and also give you an inheritance among the sanctified. Don't uh, misuse this opportunity. Get the knowledge, get the understanding, and uh, you are going to be blessed. And uh, as we are moved on now, the country is opening up, and uh, we are moving on to the normal program slowly by slowly. Now, uh, we have another rule from yesterday that uh, we can have as many as many people in church as many as your, your room is able to accommodate as long as you keep 
a physical distance of one and a half meters. And uh, that that's gives us a privilege now of beginning to do uh, ministry and to do other work. So we don't know how many days are left for us to continue coming daily to you uh, every Monday to Friday. Uh, but use the chance. Uh, use the opportunity. Learn uh, from now. And I believe this, uh, that which you learn, is going to help you to be established. Uh, I, I say this, when you keep on uh, ignoring information that can build you up, then it means the enemy also takes advantage of your ignorance. Remember that people of God are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if you l lose your opportunity, the enemy will come and destroy you. Don't say, I know everything. Don't say, I understand all things. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I know everything. Mm -mm. You need to understand you don't know anything until God reveals to you some things you have to go to him, seek him, humble yourself, and then God will give you knowledge that you require. And don't give up. Some married people, my dear, I have noticed once they, be, they meet resistance, they give up. They give up. Yeah. And they say, let us continue. Whatever happens, let it happen. Mm. It will happen bad. Yeah. It will not be as you want. Something will go astray. Mm -hmm. So you should not uh, continue enjoying a uh, wrong uh, drive. It doesn't matter how sweet it is as you drive it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You have to come back again <laughs> to the driving, uh, to the starting point mm -hmm. where you, are, you lost the way. So also in marriage, don't just follow the way because it's there. Mm -hmm. I want you to, to have undecided. I know this way is taking me where I need. Today we want to, to talk to you very sensitive things that will uphold you. Those who are in marriage now, things that can uphold you when you grow old. Uh, those who are about to enter marriage, so that you understand the importance of knowing yeah. some stages in marriage, how uh, important are they. And I believe when you understand that, uh, God is going to uh, bless you and go do you good. My dear, I begin mm -hmm. the program for today, and I believe uh, with the one of prayer, and God is going to guide us Amen. and be with us. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome, everyone. We honor you and we thank God because of you. Uh, this is another awesome and wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. We are here so that something can happen in your life. Yeah. So that you can be impacted. We are not just here to speak theories or just to speak something for the sake of uh, speaking in your life. We are here with a mission. As you get the information that you will also be impacted. That the grace of the Lord that is uh, working in our lives will come and uh, something glorious will take place in your life. So uh, we have we, 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 are, we have decided to pay the price. And uh, we are praying for the families. We are praying for people who are preparing and trusting God to be settled and established in marriages. Uh, you are always in our hearts and in our prayer. And we thank God because of your lives. There are many people still there. They are, they are sending their prayer items. And we thank God for them. We are trusting God with them. Uh, what we encourage you is just trust in God. Don't, don't just uh, see a problem and you, you rest your case. You say um, God will intervene when he, he decides. God intervened in many things. Or in all things, when he gave his only begotten son, he died for us, he paid the price. So it is our responsibility. Uh, we, we take our place, we take our position in the presence of the Lord. And of course, through the knowledge of, 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 of the word of God, when we understand uh, the knowledge of the word of God in every area of our lives, we will overcome. So right now, maybe your, your marriage is in a situation that you 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 are you you're feeling as if uh, no I am losing it. I want to tell you you will not lose your marriage. 
as long as you purpose to pay the price, you purpose to seek God, you, you purpose to stand, no matter the challenge, no matter w what is surrounding you. You you never married to, to quit. You never uh, entered into that marriage to lose it. Trust in God. Trust in God. Believe God. And the Lord will do something. Tonight, as we uh, start uh, our, our, our topic, I believe there is something that we are going to learn. The stinges. Life has the stinges. Yeah, everything that grows, everything that um, becomes uh, great, it has its stinges. Marriage has its stinges. And we want to pray, believe God to help us so that we can maneuver through all these stinges together and uh, happier and uh, glorify the name of God. Let us pray and uh, let us also know from where you are watching from kindly and uh, just just write a, a, a text write a text i'm watching or i'm following from this and this nation from this and this place uh we would wish to know and uh if you have a question especially related to marriage you can also ask that question if you have a prayer item uh related to marriage you can also post that and uh, we will pray with you and lord will give you victory let us pray in the name of jesus Heavenly Father, tonight also we exhort you, we magnify you, Lord, and we decree you are awesome, you are kind, you are so good, and we thank you because your mercies, Lord, endure forever. Thank you because of your loving kindness. Thank you because, Lord, you have never uh, give up uh, on us every time you are concerned, every time, Lord, you are looking forward for us uh, to see us being perfected, to see us, Lord, uh, attaining the levels that you purposed for each one of us. We thank you because of our families this night. We thank you because of our destinies, oh Lord. I know, Father, the plans that you have for us are good plans. We may not know, but when we we, we stand and we stick into your word, we, we will understand by revelation. That's why this night I pray that every divine family under the anointing of our voices will understand the divine plan, the divine purpose, oh God, that Every family will embark on doing your will. We'll embark on serving that purpose in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for men and women who are so frustrated. Some have allowed the enemy to use them wrongly in their own marriages. I pray that this night there will be peace. There will be healing. There will be reconciliation in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we scatter every plan of the devil against every family. Whatever the enemy has raised, has lifted, I pray that your Holy Ghost will raise a standard against that of the enemy in every family oh lord god i pray for a settlement where there was storm let them be calmness let them be shalom in jesus mighty name heal the sick lord and those that are uh, advantage of even uh, living and separating from one another, those that are even uh, thinking their minds uh, even to divorce each other. We destroy that plan and we decree, let this marriage stand, let this marriage serve the purpose that, Lord, you brought this couple to serve. We pray for your guidance even through this program, that, Lord, your Holy Ghost will lead us, your Holy Ghost will help us, your Holy Spirit will reveal to us that which is in your mind. I pray that you heal, you heal, Lord, even them that are uh, sick in their bodies. Heal them, Lord. Heal them this night. Make a way for your people. Make a way for them that are stranded in life, them that are in a valley of decision making. They don't know what to do. May you come in and do something new. We bless you, God, even for the mature young people who are waiting on you. God, let them know that we're waiting on you. It's not in vain. Be exalted and be magnified. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We cover every family in the blood of Jesus. And we declare it is well with us all. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. 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 Uh, you're most welcome in this divine marriage program. Uh, we are coming to you live. Uh, we are situated and based in Moranga town and we minister from the king's house that is life equipping and restoration ministry and we thank god because of his grace uh, and also i bless the lord because of 
uh, always uh, giving me an opportunity to serve under the grace that the Lord has bestowed upon you. I don't take it for granted because there are many men who don't associate themselves with their wives. So every time I'm with my husband, I don't take it for granted and I salute you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I bless the Lord for that and uh, I truly honor God. Uh, kindly let us know from where you're watching us from as we speak on the stages of marriage. Let us know from where you are tuned in from. I can see already there are many people who are on board and uh, we bless the Lord for you all. Now, tonight we want to know, uh, does marriage as stages? And uh, these stages, if you know them, if you understand these stages early, there are things that you, you will be able uh, to overcome. Uh, every stage, as it has got its challenge. And uh, life, 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 it, life is, it's a journey, it's a process. And uh, as you embark in life, and of course, the processes that we go through in life, if you don't understand, some, sometimes you may be going through a process. And if you don't know that you are being taken through a process, you may crack, you mm -hmm. may crash during the process. And you know what? Uh, God does not just manifest uh, his people for the sake of manifesting them. He does not manifest even marriages for the sake of manifesting those marriages. If he manifests a marriage, if, if, if he manifests a ministry that he has put in you, he takes you through a process. He takes you through a process. He takes you through some stages. But sometimes we are not willing to go through those stages. Sometimes we, we, we make a lot of noise. Uh, we make a lot of noise during these processes and uh, it is always important to know. It is always important to understand that uh, there are stages in marriage and we will address these stages stage by stage, stage by stage, so that you will know in which stage you are in because some people, they, 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 they reach a point and they, it's like they are, they are in darkness. They don't understand what is happening. They don't understand what has come over their marriage. They don't understand if it's devil, if it's God, if it's who. Uh, and they are confused. And if you cannot uh, tell what is really happening, you may be at a point of blackout. You see mm -hmm. darkness. And these are the things that happen. Uh, that, that's why many couples, they have just an history. They say in, in the first and second and third, here, years of our marriage, we moved on very well. But from there, uh, we don't know what happened. So some, some married couples, they have, they have just a, a history of some years, a couple of years. When things were working, when, when we could speak in the same language, when we could rhyme, uh, when, when, when we were working together and uh, we, we could feel each other, we could, we could uh, do things in harmony, but we don't know what really happening, what, what is really happening. The word of God says the people of God, they perish, they perish due to lack of knowledge. So always knowledge is power, always knowledge is power. If you are informed, you are more strong. You know and you are you have the strength even to face things in life. So uh, tonight we want to know because people who understand the stages of marriage, they will be able to build to build a stronger, a healthier, and a fulfilling relationship. If you understand as a couple that in this journey there are there are some there are some stages. There are some stages that we are supposed to go through. So if, if you go at a certain stage, if that stage requires a stopover and you don't have a stopover, you may strain, you may strain so before you arrive to the next stage. So the stages of marriage, if couples are not aware, awareness is very, very key, is very, very important in every relationship, in every dimension of any relationship and many couples because of the problem of just planning many many are marrying when they don't understand to, to some couples a marriage has become just a monster because they never prepared they prepared for the day of the wedding mm. they meet you meet uh, especially in this generation you, you you meet young people they start dating 
and in, during the undating, even they are not interested to know one another. They don't understand even what they should understand concerning their their, their, their own lives. Mm -hmm. They begin to plan the color, the best the best couples or the best those who just start with them during the day of the wedding. The cars, the, the type of food, reception, and all those things, the honeymoon, those are the things that occupy their minds. They don't know what, what is this thing that we are planning for. Mm. They don't even seek to know. They don't seek counsel. They don't even interact with people who have been in marriage in marriage early and uh, or for, for, a, for a while so that they can at least get some information. And uh, immediately after some of them, they after marriage, after that day, they, they have walked down the, the aisle and they have been declared husband and wife. The first day, they get it rough. And uh, you, they, they begin now braiding each other. This untevil, this man is untevil, this woman is untevil. And you are not married to untevil. It is because you don't know. As long as you don't know, whatever you don't know, you are already a failure. So knowledge helps you to move in life. Now, we have the stages. And uh, the stage number one, it is, it is a very interesting stage because we, we, we call it uh, uh, a stage that uh, many people are so passionate. They, 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 they are full of passion. They are full of, they are full of love. They, they are saturated by, 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 by love. They, they are full of emotions. And uh, they, they, they just want to... They, they just want to have time with, with, with each other. And uh, before we, we roll this, this, these stages, I would, I, would, I would hand over to my husband if there is something that maybe you would uh, speak before we continue with this. Uh, you, can, you can take over and uh, the Lord is going to bless us. And we thank God for each one of you. Feel appreciated. The people who are connected already, we, we, we appreciate you. And uh, this is the right forum for you. Make sure there's someone who is getting this information. Please, uh, you can invite your friends. And uh, the easiest way of inviting your friends, it is through even hosting watch party you can you can do that you you invite the, the people that you are connected with be a blessing be a good ambassador and uh, god is going to reward you and he's going to bless you you're welcome thank you thank you very much and uh, uh this is divine marriage program online we are grateful that you are tuned in um please as my wife has said already yeah. uh, uh share this information with your friends share yeah. this information with the people that are in your groups and uh we will be glad when you do this and god is going to bless us um, um, and be with us uh we are talking about uh, uh stages in marriage as she has uh introduced to us uh, before we begin rolling and selling, this is a stage number one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to say this, mm -hmm. that uh, building a successful marriage mm -hmm. is a long-term challenge. It is a long-term challenge. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you cannot just uh, build uh, <clears throat> a successful marriage just like that. Mm -hmm. It's a, a long-term challenge. And uh, it requires, yes, a lot of commitment and also dedication yeah. uh, so that you can arrive at that. A little relaxation in marriage can cost you a lot of things. A little relaxation, just relaxing a bit, uh, will cost you mm -hmm. a lot. So you need to understand that uh, commitment is uh, really, really needed when it comes to marriage. Mm -hmm. That commitment will, will give you uh, what you need. Now... I want you to understand now, because now is a long-term uh, uh, commitment. Uh, marriage is not a contract, it's a covenant. So you need to understand that uh, you are committed for life to mm -hmm. live with this man and live with this woman for life. Not, mm -hmm. not a contract that you can easily come and, uh, and easily cancel. Mm -hmm. So you are supposed to move. So we say this, uh, for you to build this happy relationship, Mm -hmm. happy union you are supposed uh, to understand also what am i supposed to go through what are the stages that i'm going to go through so wisdom or understanding about the phases that you are going to go through yeah. in a marriage mm -hmm. will boost your confidence and also 
uh, give you the understanding when you are going through something, you understand uh, this is the reason why I'm going through it. Yeah. And uh, uh, I want you to know uh, it will help you as a couple mm -hmm. to build a stronger relationship yeah. when you understand what you are going through. It will help you as a couple to build a stronger and more fulfilling marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. You will build a stronger and more fulfilling marriage relationship. Now, I want to say this. My wife has said most of the people prepare for wedding. They don't prepare for, uh, they, they, they don't prepare for marriage. Yeah. And you marry them, you don't understand. What am I going to do next? Now, marriage has come. What am I going to do next? Mm -hmm. Because you never prepared for that uh, a marriage. Now, the Bible says in the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 that my people are destroyed for lack of Knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. So you, uh, as you enter marriage and move on in marriage, you must have the right knowledge. I say again, as you enter marriage, those who are entering, and those who are also in marriage, you need to have the right knowledge. knowledge. Amen. Then you need to have the right counsel also. People who are able to make you or to help you walk through this journey together giving you knowledge that you need people have experienced what you were about to experience mm -hmm. people have gone through the stage that you want to go through and they will easily help you with their experience so that you go through with ease because they have gone through it so they can easily help you to go that through with ease the bible tells us in proverbs 21 and verse 16 and i will read Proverbs 21 and verse 16. My Bible is getting lost. I don't know uh, where it has gone. <laughs> Proverbs uh, 20, Proverbs 21 uh, verse 16. Uh, it can end, but it cannot run forever. Uh, thank God for that. It can end, but it cannot run away from me forever. Proverbs uh, uh, 21 and verse is 16. My Bible says, A man who wanders from the way of understanding, a man who wanders from the way of understanding, uh -huh, will rest in the assembly of the dead. That's, that's something that you need to understand now. If you wander from understanding, you will end, rest. A lot. Mm. It will really affect your life a lot. You will find yourself in the company of the dead. And you don't like, at the end of your marriage, or in a certain level of your marriage, you find yourself, you are in the mortuary of marriage. There is a mortuary of marriage. That's why I say the assembly of the dead. They are where dead assembles. Where are them? In the grave of the mortuary. So don't meet yourself at the dead. And don't find yourself on the wrong end when it comes to marriage and you get yourself in the wrong corner mm -hmm. where you're not supposed to be. And most of the people now, because they wandered from understanding, yeah. they are in the wrong place of marriage. Yes. There are so many people who are wounded as I speak now. Mm -hmm. You are under pains. You are wounded by what you are going through. You are wounded by your own relationship. The man that you love so much uh, and your thoughts, uh, you will be happy together. Now you are wounded. Mm -hmm. The relationship that you thought it will take you very far. Now it has become painful. You are now going through pain. Because there is a place in your life you wandered away from understanding. Mm -hmm. If you wander away from understanding, I want you to understand you will find yourself in the wrong, in the wrong end. And this is the company of the dead. And now look at what the Bible is telling us in the book of Proverbs again. Uh, this time it's 24. Uh, Proverbs 24, the Bible is speaking something very good for us uh, that we can easily uh, go through it and understand. Proverbs 24 verse 3 says, uh, Through wisdom the house is built. Through wisdom. Through wisdom the house is built. Mm -hmm. You are building your own, you want to build your own marriage, you need to have wisdom. And that's the way the house is built. And uh, the Bible continues to say, and by understanding, it is established. Yeah. 
-hmm. So wisdom and study. Mm -hmm. You are able to build your own house and you are able to, uh, to, to, to establish it. And verse 4 says, by knowledge the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Mm -hmm. Precious and pleasant riches, they fill the room because there is understanding. So wisdom, knowledge and understanding about marriage will give you what you want. Will give you the peace that you want. It will give you the joy that you want. It will give you the victory Amen. that you want. Look at this now, you see. Uh, verse, verse, 20, verse, 20, uh, verse 24, uh, I mean verse 5 in 24 of the book of Proverbs says, A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases in strength. So you continue to grow. So a marriage, once you become wise, you know what you are going to what you are doing. Love grows. It continues to be strong between the two of you. You continue to have more intimacy. You continue to enjoy life together because you are growing and growing. And verse 26 says, For by wise counsel you will wage your own war. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that wise counsel that you wage your own war. You fight with wise counsel. With, 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 with the wise counsel, you are able to wage the war. And in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. Yeah. So when you, you are able to receive knowledge, information, you are safe. So we need to understand that there are things we need to know so that we will enjoy marriage. We will not just come up and say marriage is good and we start to enjoy it until we get to the right knowledge, mm -hmm. until we get to the right place of understanding. And this is what we want to bring unto you is this divine marriage program online. And we want to speak to you about the stages so that when you know them, you have a knowledge that, oh, it is because of this. People know when you are dealing with teenagers, you know why they behave what the way they behave and you don't have problems. <laughs> if you, have, uh, you are living with a pregnant women, some of them, you know why they do what they are doing. So you don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. So you, you will be able to understand this is happening. This is happening like this. This is happening like this. And you are able to understand and you are able to, to cope with that situation mm -hmm. because you understand. So please let us uh, come to that kind of uh, 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 understanding that there are things we need to know mm. about the marriage. There are things we need to know. What is happening between us? What is happening between the woman? At a certain stage, how does a woman behave? At a certain stage, how does a man behave? Because if you know this, then when this person begins to uh, behave like that, you will be safe. Yeah. You will not be astrated. You will not be having any, any problem. There is no issues that around you, you will be okay. You will not be affected. Because already you know now, this is happening because of A, <laughs> B, C, D. So once you get that knowledge, it will favor you. It will help you. It will be a blessing to you. And you will be able to understand, oh, if this is happening because we are in this stage. Now, my dear, could it be the reason because there are couples as they move mm -hmm. in certain stages of life, mm -hmm. maybe uh, because they don't know what is happening, mm -hmm. they can approach one another or, or either one of them and tell the other person, I mm -hmm. don't see as if we have life. Mm -hmm. We there don't is, have a future. Because they, they, have, they have now come to understand some things, but they never knew uh, it will be uh, the way they have come to understand. Now, so that mm -hmm. they will understand, yes. we have to go through these stages so that they understand, wow, this is why I behaved yeah. like this. There are several stages mm. of, that you go through in marriage. Some stages, we combine them when they have the same characteristics and yeah. we group them together. Mm. But uh, for us in this uh, uh, program, we shall share with you about seven stages. We shall share with you what we have uh, put together and we want to discuss with you, mm. we are discuss with you seven stages that you go through in marriage. This stage that you go through. And stage number one in marriage relationship 
is what we call passionate stage or when it, we call it passion stage or a uh, passionate stage or honeymoon mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. honeymoon stage passionate stage or honeymoon stage mm -hmm. it is also called a romantic stage yeah 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 those ones you can use them passion you can call it romantic, romantic or honeymoon stage, stage. Uh, this stage is very nice for every couple. If you jump this stage <laughs> or you don't notice it yeah. or you don't maximize in it, your marriage is done. <laughs> it is as well as it is done. Mm -hmm. Because this is what keeps the couple mm -hmm. together always. Yeah. And in this stage, mm -hmm. the passion is the stage or animal stage, Something good happens in this stage. That's why we tell people, don't let this stage go away. Uh, I want you to understand this. Uh, couples are supposed to continue with the courtship mood, even after marriage. The courtship mood, winning, wooing, bringing the other person on your side, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. should continue throughout marriage.